So the topic is the tangent function and uh, you can see this uh, unit circle, right? And yeah. uh, we can define the tangent is actually opposite of our adjacent side, right? Uh, uh, of a right angle triangle. If you see this right angle yeah. triangle, this one, uh, OPN. So the opposite side is actually the sine theta because it's a unit circle. So that's why yeah. if you uh, calculate the sine theta, it will be uh, opposite side over hypotenuse, which is one, right? So that's why this side becomes sine theta. One into sine theta, sine theta. Yeah. Similarly, yeah. if you find the cos theta of this triangle, then it will be the adjacent yeah. side divided by the hypotenuse, which is one, right? So adjacent mm -hmm. side over one is cos theta. And when you take that one to the other side it becomes cos theta equal to the adjacent side, right? So that's yeah. why the opposite side is sine theta and the adjacent side is cos theta. And yeah. we know that uh, the ratio of opposite and adjacent is tan theta, right? So that's why it becomes yeah. sine theta over cos theta. Sine theta is the opposite side and cos theta is the adjacent side. Got it? Yeah. So that's yeah. why tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So this yeah. is the tangent function. Clear? Yeah. And uh, also we can define it as, uh, uh, it is also, if you see that if we take any line or uh, it, it tan theta can also be defined as the slope of the line. Clear? Uh, the slope of the line? Yeah, the gradient of the line. Yeah. So anyways, uh, tan, tan theta in the first quadrant, this value is positive. In the second quadrant, yeah. Uh, sign and sign is positive, cos is negative, so that's why tan theta will be negative, right? Yeah. In the third quadrant, sign is uh, negative, cos is also negative, so that's negative or negative cancelled, so that's why tan theta in the third quadrant will be positive. Okay. And yeah. uh, what about the fourth quadrant? Uh, uh, sine theta is negative and cos theta is positive, okay. so negative okay. or so negative or positive is negative also. So it means tan theta will be negative in the fourth quadrant, right? Yeah. So that's how we can uh, we can uh, if we can be able to know uh, the signs of tan theta yeah. in each quadrant, right? Yeah. So this is the graph of the function. You can yeah. see there are asymptotes. Yeah. Uh, what's an asymptote? It's actually uh, it it it's just like a curve, which doesn't meet yeah. this line. So this is called asymptote, right? So yeah. these are asymptotes because at theta over two, the tan value is undefined, infinity, right? Theta, uh, sorry, not theta over two, pi over two, means uh, at yeah. forty five degree, the tan value is infinity. You can check in your calculator. Similarly, at tan negative pi by two or uh, it is it's sorry 945 it's 90 right so 1090 yeah. and uh, 10 negative 90 gives you undefined value so that's why this yeah. curve will not uh touch this line yeah here we have discontinuity of the function right yeah so the period for uh, tan will be this like this negative pi by two to the pi by two clear yeah. so the period will be you can subtract it, it becomes pi. Clear? Yeah. So what's a period? Period is actually, uh, uh, we can say where the tan repeats itself, right? So after every yeah. pi, it repeats itself. Pi by two ends again and again. Yeah. Right? What about the range? You can see that it goes up up to infinity yeah. in the positive infinity and going down the negative infinity. So that's where the range will be from negative infinity to the positive infinity, all real numbers, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> So now I'm going to solve the, the questions of exercise 70. Yeah. It says graphing package, I guess. It's a kind of software that I type with the book. So I'll be mm -hmm. using the, the Desmos here, right, to see okay. the graph. Got it? Yeah. 
So sketch the following function for uh, zero to three pi. It's x, x is greater than or equal to zero and uh, less than or equal to 30, three pi, right? So we have to yeah. sketch uh, the graph of this. So it says question number one, uh, sketch the following functions uh, from zero to three pi and it's x. So what about this? This is actually the horizontal shape of the graph. So first of all, we should know what is the graph of without this shape, like tan x. Yeah. Right. So first of all, we'll uh, sketch the graph of tan x only. Clear? Right. Oh, so how do you know which ones are the for? After every pi, let's pi by two is the reference, and after every pi, it will be the asymptote. It's these oh, are yeah. actually. So it is actually just going up like this. Yeah. There. Similarly, yeah. here we have this. And before it is going down like this, clear? Yeah. This is for the tan x only. Now, what about this? This is negative pi by two, which means we have to shift. If it is negative, then shift towards the left, uh, right side, pi by two. Yeah. If it is positive, then shift towards left side, right? Yeah. So I'm just, uh, making this as so well yeah is on I'm, the right side yeah if it is negative pi by two or if this negative sign shows you have to shift that to the right side if it is positive yeah. it means you have to shift to the left side right yeah okay so anyways this will be pi negative pi by two i'm writing uh making this as well and uh what about this this is uh sorry This is the asymptote region. Yeah. Right, so this is actually the origin. This is zero. Yeah? Yeah. So this is actually the graph of, this blue one is graph of tan x. So when you shift this negative pi by two means you have to shift pi by two to the right side. Yeah. So this blue, th this like these curves will shift it to the pi by two to the to the right side. So how to draw these new lines? Oh, sorry, these new curves. Pi by two shifting. So this this thing will be shifted to this, and similarly yeah. this will be shifted to here, right? Yeah. So what we are left with this time, the asymptotes will be shifted to yeah. pi and then two pi and uh, then three pi. Got it? Yeah. Okay, now you can complete it now. So it is positive y-axis region, negative y-axis region. This is for the positive y-axis region and this is for the negative y region. Right? Similarly, yeah. here we have. So this black one is actually the graph of 10 pi by two. I'm writing this. This is 10 x minus pi by two. Right? Yeah. And uh, the, the, this uh, blue one is actually the graph of 10 x only. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, what about the second part? It is 10 x plus pi by three, right? Pi by three means shift the, the graph of tan x to the yeah. left, left okay. over yeah. pi by three, 60 yeah. degree, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Similarly, what about this? This is tan three x's. This, this time we'll be scaling the graph, right? Yeah. Uh, I can't see the full screen. Half of it is cut off. Yeah, this one now. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay, so I'm making this one first, which is tan x, right? So y is equal to tan x. Yeah. This is tan x, right? Yeah. It is one, two, three. So I'm just making. Uh, 
the x axis will be in the degrees because it's a radian, so they are not, not taking the pi. So that's why yeah. I'm converting to degrees to understand easily, right? So x should be from uh, 0 to 2, 3 pi. 3 pi means four, 540 degrees, right? So that's why I'm taking yeah. 0 to 540 degrees. Clear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is actually the graph of tan x. Clear? Yeah. You can do Oops, this. is OK. Now making the graph of tan, the first part, x minus pi by three, pi by three, sorry, pi by two, which is 90 degrees, got it? So yeah. this is the main difference. You can see that this this red curve has been shifted to the left, um, sorry, yeah, right, yeah. pi by two oh, or no. 90 degrees. Okay, the second part, which is tan x plus yeah. pi by three means 60 degrees, right? Yeah. So the 90 graph shifted to the left because 90 is negative. Yeah, to the yeah. right. Okay. If the negative 90, it means oh. to the right. If it is positive, yeah, yeah. it means to the left, right? Yeah. So okay. Similarly, you can see that uh, if I remove this one, you can see this difference. This tan x is actually at this point, which is 180, right? So 180 yeah. should be shifted to the 60 degree right, 60 degree yeah. left. So it should be 120. So that's why this will be 120. You can see that, right? Yeah. These two points you can see, 180 and 120. Okay. Yeah. Clear? Yep. Okay. But what would happen when it is 3x like this? We compare it with tan x. What is the yep. main difference you can see? Uh, it's a different shape. The shape is almost same. Just it is actually, this is wider one. This. Yeah. This becomes narrower. Got it? Yeah. So it, if you increase it more, it will be narrower, more like 6x, mm -hmm. more narrow. So if, it, yeah. if you choose uh, less than 1 means 0.5, it will be mm -hmm. wider than this. Clear? Yeah. So if we compare it with this one, which is tan 3x, these points are same on the x-axis, but what yeah. will happen here, where is that asymptote? This point? Yeah. To the nine, it actually approaches to 90, right? Yep. Yeah. But uh, for this it is, approaches to 30 degree. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So basically 90 is divided by three, it comes, becomes 30. So it, asymptote will be, uh, drawn at 30 degree and what yeah. about this one it is at what it approaches 90 this one yeah. right yeah. so again it was actually at this is actually the blue one for this this one yeah so it was at uh, basically yeah it approaches to i think uh, 275 i guess hmm, 270 so that's 270 yeah. divided by 3 will be 90. So that's why the this thing will be converted into this, which approaches to the 90, right? Yeah. So that's how we can do the sketches. Clear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay now moving to the next question. Okay, it says without the technology means Desmos. Sketch the graph of the following 0 to 2 pi. Okay, first of all, you should know what is the graph of sine pi, right? Yeah. So I'm making that thing first. 2 pi. Okay, first of all, I'm making the sine function. Sine function at 0 is 0 and sine 90 is 1. So if it is say, if I say it is 1, yeah. If it is 1, the graph will be this. Right, and at uh, yeah. sine three over two pi, it will be negative one. So negative one, say it is here. So it's a sinusoidal graph. Yes. 
Clear? So this is actually the graph yeah. of sine function. This blue one is sine x. Clear? Okay. Yeah. Now, how to uh, draw three times sine x? Three is actually the amplitude of the sine function. So it means this is the maximum value of the sine. Or we can yeah. say that the sine x will be multiplied by three. So this graph, when you multiply this graph by three, whatever yeah. it is at, like it is zero into three is zero, right? Yeah. One into three is three. So where is three? Three yeah. is here. Zero into zero, zero. And again, negative one into three mm -hmm. is negative three, right? Here. And zero into zero, zero. Uh so the graph so will be how this. Is it in the first one. Huh? This one. Oh, uh, so is it the points that they? Yeah, you can uh, easily just uh, multiply the point, the y, x, the y coordinate of the point, right? So it is zero here. Yeah. Zero okay. into three is zero. Yeah. Here we have one. One into three is three. 0 into 0, 0. Here we have negative yeah. 1. Negative 1 into 3 is negative 3. So that's how we can draw the graph. So you can see the yeah. amplitude of the graph is, or amplitude of the function is 3, sine function. Clear? Yeah. What about this? This is negative 3. So this is actually sine 3 sine x. Clear? Okay. I'm mm -hmm. just making a legend. These are called legends to see which uh, curve is sine 3x and uh, sine x and which one is three times sine x, right? Okay, next one yeah. is pink color. It is for part C, part B, which is negative three sine x, right? Negative three means we have to multiply uh, the basic graph with negative three, right? So zero into negative three is yeah. zero, same point. One into negative three is yeah. minus three. So it will be this, clear? Zero into mm. three, negative three, zero. And when you multiply negative three, into negative one, it becomes positive three here. And zero into negative three zero. So now the graph is this. So this pink one is actually negative three sine x. Clear? Mm -hmm. And the rest of the parts are very similar. You just have to multiply 1.5 with the sine x graph. The, this is the basic graph. So it becomes one point five making uh, yours different color this time black color right yeah so it becomes 1.5 is here and uh, it will be negative 1.5 zero zero and which one is the black oh yeah so when you multiply with negative three point three over two means one negative one point five, the same graph yeah. will become uh, it becomes one eighty out of phase, or we can say this positive part becomes negative here. Sorry, I have to change the color. Yeah, this one. And this negative part becomes positive. Clear. Yeah. So this yeah. is negative three over two sine x. Okay, first of all, I'm I'm going to sketch the uh, main function, which is sine x. Clear? To understand yeah. the difference. I'm taking this color, sine x. This time I'm taking this as one. And this will be negative one. Four boxes for one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so pi by two, it is one, pi is zero, zero, zero. Three pi by two is negative one, right? Yeah. Two pi again, zero. And it's periodic function. So periodic means it becomes again one, right? After the finish, after finishing a one wave, right? Yeah. So this is actually the graph of sine x. Okay, when you multiply this sine three x, like when you multiply, it's uh, 
like this x part with three, what would happen? Okay. It should become narrower, right? Yeah. So we can just examine it, right? What should be the yeah. difference in both? First, I'm writing the sine x. This one, right? Yeah. And when you multiply with three sine three x. This oh, I can't see. Yeah. Yeah. This one. So red one is actually sine three x. So you can see it becomes narrow. Yeah. Means its period will be uh, one over three of the period of sine x. Yeah. Right. So what yeah. was the period of sine x? Obviously, we have seen that it is uh, 0 to 2 pi, right? Yeah. So it means one wave ends, uh, start from 0 and ends at 2 pi for the sine. Yeah. Right? Or 360 yeah. degree. So when you plot the graph of sine 3x, it means one wave should finish at uh, 360 divided by 3, 120 yeah. degrees. So you can see it starts from zero and ends at what? 120 degree. You can see zero and this yeah. is 120 degree. Clear? Yeah. So this is actually the main difference. You have to divide the period with three in yeah. order to understand. Clear? Yeah. So this is actually three x. So it means we have to divide the period by what? Three. Clear? Three. So the period yeah. was actually pi, two pi. So when you yeah. divide it by three, it becomes this. Or in degrees, it will be 2 times 180 over 3. So 120 degrees. Clear? Is the period always 2 pi? Or... Yeah. Period of... So every time. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Period means uh, where the one way finished. Yeah. Right? Okay. So 120 degree. Where is 120 degree? Uh, if I just write it as it is 90 degree. This is uh, 180 degrees. Got it? What about yeah. this? This will be... 270 and this will be 360 and this will be just add 19 it it will be uh, 450 and this one will be 540 right degrees yeah uh, for our penny means so where is 120 degree here four boxes 90 this will be what mm. okay. difference is 90 so this will be 120. Got it? Yeah. And its half is here, 60 degrees. This one, 60. Right? So the wave will be this. In the middle, we have one. And uh, here we have negative one so that the one wave can be finished at 120. Clear? Yeah. So you can carry on this. And you can see that uh, one half cycle takes only three boxes. Clear? Yeah. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So completed for this. So this red one is actually sine 3x. Clear? Okay, what yes. would happen when you multiply it by one over two? So the period will be divided by one over two. What is the period? It is two pi divided by one over two. So it becomes yeah. two pi. So one way finishes at 4 pi instead of 2 pi for yeah. this case. So I'm taking this case uh, with this color, uh, green one. So where is 2 pi here? Right? Yeah. Here we finish is one half cycle. No, sorry. 2 pi will be half cycle. It is 4 pi, right? So yeah. it is half cycle. So the wave becomes this. Right? Here we have yeah. this. 
So this is actually the wave of sine pi by two x. Sorry, x over two. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. this is four x. So the period is two pi two divided by four. So it gives you pi by two. So the period for one wave will be pi by two, right? Yeah. In this case. So does it end like that at three? Yeah. Pi? One wave ends at ninety degrees. So where is ninety degree here? Yeah. Ninety degrees here, right? So yeah. one wave finishes at end, so it means half cycle should finish at this. So this will be. Yeah. And you can carry on it. Clear? Yeah. Up to three pi. So one half cycle. Then this negative half cycle. Then positive half cycle. Then negative half cycle, you can see the yeah, I'm taking only two boxes once a uh, half cycle, right? Yeah. Okay, finished. So these are actually the main differences between two different functions, right? And yeah. in all of these parts, uh, we actually multiply the x uh, function with uh, sorry x part of the function with some number right yeah so whatever you have chosen the number you have to divide the period by that number to get the period of that function or yeah. uh, uh, like the angle at which the one wave completes right yeah okay so this is for sine over x So this is actually scaling, right? Yeah. Done? Uh, yep. Okay. It's very similar to this. Straight the period. We have to straight only the period. So it's very easy question. How to get the period we have done in the previous part uh it is a like you can see this five just divide two pi by five right so this will yeah. be the period so what i get it is two over five pi or 0.4 pi or in degrees we can convert into degrees as well 0.4 times 180 degrees clear yeah so it will be 72 degrees. Right? Okay. Yeah. What about this? Uh, it will be pa 2 pi over pi. Yeah, 2 pi over 1 by 3. Five. So it will be yeah. 6 pi. This is part B. Whatever, uh, like x is multiply 1 over 3. So that's why I have taken 1 over 3 in the denominator. Clear? Yeah. Uh, why is two pi times by one eighty? I mean, zero point four pi times. Hey, this one, pi yeah. is one eighty degrees. If I convert into degrees, it's one eighty degrees, right? So pi oh, yeah. is one eighty degree. Pi one eighteen two point four gives you seventy two degrees. So point four is seventy two degrees. No, no. Point four pi is in radians. Yeah. If I convert into degrees, this becomes 72 degrees. Oh, yep. Okay. Okay, like this exercise 7b dot 2. Sketch the graph of the following 0 to 4 pi. The first function is sine x minus 2. Yeah. So we try this one first to understand how to shift the function vertically or translate yep. the function vertically, right? Yep. So sketch the graph of the following uh, for uh, 0 to 4 pi. So first of all, I'm making a line for the x-axis. Thank you. 
and this is for y axis sorry zero to four pi right yeah taking two boxes for pi by two this is pi two pi three pi and the last one is four pi right this is yes yeah. It is sine x. So first of all, uh, create the graph of sine x. And it's easy. We know that at 90, it is 1. So if I consider it as 1, and this is a negative 1, so it will be 1, 0, then minus 1, and then 0. Again, plus 1, 0, minus 1, and 0. Right? Yeah. So this is actually the graph of basic function, which is sine x. Now, what is minus two? It is uh, actually outside the bracket. So that's why it is vertical shift, right? So vertical yeah. shift negative two means we have to just uh, drag this graph to the two step downside, right? Yeah. So two step downside means uh, whatever we have at zero, it, it, it goes to the negative two, right? Yeah. It is zero, so it goes to the negative two here this is negative to write this point yeah it is one so it one minus two it becomes minus one zero minus two becomes again minus two this is minus one minus one minus two gives you minus three right yeah this is zero so zero minus two is minus two one minus two is minus one what about this? This is zero. So zero minus two is minus two. This is this is what? This is minus one. So minus one minus two gives you minus three. Yep. And the last one is zero, zero minus two is minus two. Clear? So we can uh, just complete the graph. So we have basically shifted uh, the above graph two step down. Clear? So this yep. is actually the sign x minus 2 and this black one is sine x clear yeah what about part b it's positive 3 positive 3 means you have to shift this basic graph to the three step above so we can shift it very easy 0 means it goes 2 and 3 right yeah okay, this is 4 so this point will be this become this one two three means four zero two three becomes three minus one plus three gives you plus two zero plus yeah. three gives you plus three one plus three gives you plus four then we have zero zero plus three gives you plus three minus one plus three gives you plus two and yeah. zero plus three gives you plus three so we can just join these dots to make a graph, complete the graph. So this will be actually graph of sine x plus three. And what about this? This is negative 0 0.5. So we are going down half box, only the half box, right? So the graph will be this. Mm, should choose a different color. Okay, this one. Half, where is half? Half is one small box, right? Yeah. Right? So this green yeah. one is actually sine x negative 5, 0 0.5, there? Yeah. That's how we can do the uh, vertical translation.
Yeah, okay. done. Okay. I'm taking uh, uh, this already done. This was already done, this thing, right? And yeah. uh, question number three. It has both translations, the vertical as well as the horizontal. So sketch the graph of the falling for zero to four pi, right? So yeah. in the time line. Actually, the minimum shift is pi by six, so I guess I think I should take more boxes. Hmm. Or pi, it is pi by six, so pi by six. So at least I, I should have at least uh, six boxes for one pi, right? So, yeah. And uh, Pi by six is as one eighty over three six is thirty degrees. So at yeah. least uh, one small box should be thirty degrees. So thirty plus thirty plus thirty will be ninety. Yes. And what about this? It will be forty five degrees. So taking this one as pi by two, one two three. Yeah. Pi one two three. This is. Two pi, three pi, four pi, right? Okay, yeah. now I'm going to draw the basic function, which is sine x. So at uh, pi by two, it is one. Say this is... Um, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Zero is zero zeros and pi by two one and pi zero and uh, this will be negative one then zero positive one. Again zero and this will be negative one and this will be zero again. Clear? So this yeah. is the basic function. This is this black one is actually sine x. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Next thing mm -hmm. is uh, either you should uh, I think uh, we should do this thing first, right? Which is the yeah. horizontal shift. Negative means you have to shift uh, pi by six means thirty degrees to the left or right. To the right. Oh, right, yeah. So 30 degree means uh, you can see this is actually 90 degrees. So it means one small box is actually of 30 degrees. Clear? Yeah. So just shift one box to the right. So this becomes this point will be here. And what about this point will be here? This will be here. Yeah. One box above uh further. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. This is not here, this is here. Actually, we, are, we have to draw only the graph up to this four pi. So that's why I'm not taking to the further, right? Yeah. And what about this part? Uh, we know that uh, this is actually how many lines? One, two, three. Yeah, three lines. This will be negative. So that's why the original graph is this from for, for less than zero. 
So just take this point to the right. So the graph yeah. will be like this. Sorry. Right? <clears throat> yeah. So this blue one is actually, I haven't uh, done full transformation uh, translation. This is only this part. Yeah. Now I have to take this plus one as well. Plus one means it's a vertical translation means we have to shift this to the, to like one step up, right? One step up. So where is one step? One yeah. step is this. It is one. So all the points will be shifted to this. This will be here, right? At zero, yeah. one. And what about this? This is negative one. So it becomes at zero. What about this? This will be at one. Oh, yeah. I'm only taking the blue one. Yeah, this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this is actually the graph of plus one, right? Okay. Yeah. So same this process should be done here. It is pi by four means pi by four is 45 degrees. So 45 to the left or right, it's left, right? You have to shape that left side. Yeah. Pi by four means 45 degrees. So if you take this scaling, so it means one box representing 30. So you have to shift to the one and half box to the left, right? And uh, what about yeah. this? This is two step above. This is two step down. So that's how we can uh, shift the graphs, clear? Vertically as well as the horizontal. Yeah. Okay, note this now. Yeah. 